starting. Ooh. <laughs> Plus Crash Band is cool. Four? It's about time. Mr. Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Okay. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains, Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy, have finally escaped their interdimensional so prison. We just woke up. We literally just woke up. Okay. Hurry up and get to now the they've stream. got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. They just dive right Crash in. They didn't even say, like, uh, time is the welcome first. to the state like, of play. Welcome they to the state of play. Said, Crash Bandicoot. Here. So, I kept begging us for something here. Right. To reintroduce longtime fans as well as new players to this amazing franchise. Never done. First, we made sure to incorporate Is the classic the... Wait, tense, you never played precise, Crash Bandicoot? I played it one time. And then, we wanted to introduce exciting new elements it's that we tough. can't wait to show you, you today. You have played. You have played at least one. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This, this is where Crash's adventure first Hello, started. Hello, everybody. We, we just wake up, up again so I'm so Crash sorry. 4. But there have definitely been changes. Sorry, that's Sanity Beach fun. all those years sorry ago. Sorry that the stream is a little late. You'll see those changes in our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games, mm -hmm. all while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. Throughout Crash 4, we gonna get you'll see PS5 wide open and new vistas, they they no, new character models, not do any and PS5 lots of expressive no. animations. And with all of that, also comes new additions to the platforming. Like having the ability so to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. Jesus. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Mm -hmm. Think yep. of Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a okay. motorcycle. That mm -hmm. seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome price, skins though. that you can earn. <laughs> and right, that's what I don't think that they're gonna. These skins are totally cosmetic. I don't think they're gonna name Fun way to express yourself know. while playing the game. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, they're not there's do no a lot MTX of, uh, here. PS5 skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also really introduces the Quantum Masks, like, the powerful protectors of time and space. At least. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly mm -hmm. flip your center of gravity at the press of a button, Kapunawa, who allows you to map. slow down the world around you, oh, cool. or Lonnie Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano. But that's going to have to wait for another day. Uh, I can't wait. tell you today, though, that. that Crash <laughs> isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Any level that you can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. It's also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the that's story this time as well. But that's not all. <laughs> We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives and new gameplay. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neo Cortex. Mm -hmm. He's all about using his blaster to really? change an enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. I repeat, you know who that is? You yes. get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. What? And a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact, he yes, hung up his is. old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately really? for Dingo, <laughs> fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into another dimension. I like that they're like kind of like Finally, bringing back one more like surprise. all these like I'm old incredibly games. excited Ooh. to reimagine. That is so cool. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all mm -hmm. the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. It's our souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not oh. only are perspective shifted, but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience. Do you think that's going to be a new thing? One dimension could be asking you to traverse through a new like this, like while another. Yeah, I was just about to say because they were like environment to see that was that the, uh, was it medium or something like that? Yeah, yeah. it was supposed to be like rendered in two worlds at the same time, time. And, and then I see this is rendered in the same as well. two right. games at the same time. So it's like players can replay. I don't know. Like this might do like this meta. might be a new flex. Yeah. 
Right. They might like just flex on us and be like, yo, this is, this is what we got right here. Player, especially the completionists out there. A reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experience is in store for them. So that's some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Experience this. <laughs> it's about time. time. I know you are. I don't know if it's I'm going to make a gameplay on it, y'all, but I'm going to mm -hmm. play it probably in my own free time. Yeah. Today's state of play is loaded with third-party updates for PS4 and PSVR. And some new PS5 Ooh, yeah, gameplay too. Have, I remember we have a VR sitting, uh, sitting down. You reopen the show with a long time. In the basement. In the basement? Yeah. yeah. Time. yeah. Coming to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. Really dropped anything or anything. Now let's keep the party going with the latest from IO Hitman. Interactive. Hitman and I gotta 3. get on that too, man. Mm -hmm. I gotta, I gotta get updated. So Her I gotta Hitman play the other one. Very ones. good. I gotta play that. Yeah. what you missed only only thing that y'all missed was uh crash bandicoot that was the only thing that popped up so far this is the second one Besides, everybody's in the chest in gta 6 i doubt it i highly i don't know it. if they're gonna have any news for that i don't i don't think it's coming out because mm -hmm. they would have said it a while ago mm -hmm. at the other one Okay, oh, so this is VR Hitman. I just realized it. Oh. Mm. It says, oh, it's emote included. Okay. Okay. I'm about to strangle this Get man. Get this man. Get the to, towel. He definitely, definitely about to yeah, get about the to wire. Yeah, the wire. And man, put his head in the toilet. <laughs> oh, that's kind of, I, I might have to do that. I play the entire world of assassination trilogy and vr and vr oh that's 2021 nerd with a again. it's been a while <laughs> what's up nerd how's it going buddy so 2021 i'll be able to do that in vr i might have to wait to do that on my channel vr because mm -hmm. that looks fun uh, you, you burst, just don't walk in on just me like, like this did before <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be like what, what are you doing, doing over there I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> So you know like when them cults try to initiate you? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I know, right? No, that's why I, 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 I never one, been so on one I don't though. Know. I have stop. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so this is the So are we gonna play grounded again? Yeah. Yeah, we are. I'm, I'm utterly confused. It's like the sands of time. I don't know. I don't know. Prince of Persia, The Stance of Time, don't you play like that? I don't think it's that. It's one of the no. games I definitely wanted to play when I was a kid. <laughs> so it's like an indie game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Prince of Persia was on okay. like my nerves when I played it. What? Like that. All I said was Stance of Time. Sands you said Assassin's Creed. Stance of Time. Braid Anniversary Edition. Hmm. Oh, said. Give up, give up people golden. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. We are happy to announce Raid Anniversary 2008, Edition. And this was 20, Okay, so this is like a puzzle adventure where updated, you updated time version and repainted for modern high resolutions. Many yeah, areas have been re-envisioned to make them more unique. And it's even more like a living painting with brush strokes animating the world. Mm. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. Okay. Not much of a there are new so I like how they like you can see the sound and music to enhance the Yeah, they put it side and by side. Hours of yeah, so you can see the and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, programming, and visual art. We plan to make it the most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games kind of are games made, great anniversary future, edition man. will be a like really a good story, resource. But we hope you'll enjoy the game. When you know, it comes yeah. out early next year. This comes out early next year. Braidgame.com. <laughs> Wish I knew what it was about. Yeah, they were just like here. They were just like here. Look how a mythic cool adventure set on a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava yeah. from Giant Squid. I thought we I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. Well, 
I don't know. I thought we wasn't getting any PS5s, though. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I we don't even know anymore. I thought we weren't talking about PS5. Mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter. <laughs> the hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the pathless. So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, hmm. not aiming down sights. Said this is not a kid's this game. Design was are y'all talking about brain? To making it possible this? to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers, you instantly hmm. feel as skilled as the hunter herself. Hmm. Not really explaining much about the game. I'm ready to see your price on. All right, instead of shooting at target, shoot the shoot the bird. I like how with help I, I like I like how you can even fly. Looks. Yeah. Like, looks really Bond cool. between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathless. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. Imagine someone shot the bird down. Are there any enemies in this game? Exactly. I'm pretty sure there has to be because I think this is more like practice. You Make sure you pet the eagle really we to keep it clean news. and in good flying condition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you can pet the bird. Okay. Aww. You'll find secrets all over the island if you know where to look. This game is a little too peaceful for me right now. Because when everything I need doesn't have conflict. to be savage, man. I need some conflict. They about to give you some conflict right now. Look, fire. Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability boom, boom, boom. to fly. This is collecting what there. embers. There we go. Look. You'll there also go. discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. I need some. I need conflict. Not every game needs to be a bloodbath. Okay. I need. I need the enemy. Something. A robot. Something. Not every game has to be violent. <laughs> That's how you, that's how German is. Y'all said play Fall Guys. We are, we are gonna play that because we are the downloaded. Pathless is all about finding your own way forward. Sure do have that. So we're so unlike most open world soon. games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. It's a very peaceful game, I'm just saying. It's a very peaceful game. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. There we go. They we will try threats. to separate you from the eagle. Okay, so it's forces trying to separate me from the eagle. There we go. Oh, Let's shoot there? at something. There it is. Let's shoot you at got that. A Cherokee right there. There we go. Is right. it Jin Cherokee? <laughs> Naruto. Catch it though. Stay still in the oh. light to avoid detection. I want a game where we could like attack it, attack it fight it, and mm -hmm. capture it and use it to fight against so other. So you're saying Pokemon? I guess, yeah. Basically, yeah. you're yeah, saying I guess Pokemon. Pokemon yeah. You want another Pokemon yeah. game? Yeah, but not Pokemon. Exactly. <laughs> you won't be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. No, oh, I should fight in a cow. Yeah. Might. Risks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. And then Chase them down through the forest it. to corner them in a dramatic final battle. Thank you, man. I hope everybody's staying safe during this uh, quarantine, you know, this whole coronavirus, COVID 19, whatever you want to call it. I hope everybody being safe out there wearing a mask. Definitely. Save, save yourself, save a life. There you go. She got there you go. No, this kind of remind me of dogs. Yeah, like the big monsters, yeah, like monsters, like a uh, monster hunter world or Dauntless. Dauntless to me was like the simplified version of monster, monster hunter. Yeah, yeah. They're basically the same game. It's just that one with a little simplified. Like, 
Yeah. So, so this is the, this is don't don't get your hopes up. That's it. Yeah. That's why we're not like to defeat the super like oh my god like back yeah. to the world because this is like more for, like for the indie PS4 titles and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I hope you've enjoyed I'm this overview that they had of a PS5 the PS5 game right here. This is like the We've third time I've been late for your stream. My goodness, so hey, much more to hey we were almost late for our own stream. So. <laughs> the Pathos is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. Will you play? No. Okay. And it may not be like my game, but other people might like, like yeah, the game. Yeah, it's like it's other enjoy. people's type, like to have a peaceful, like relaxing game. Every game doesn't need to be about uh, killing or fighting or whatever. Yeah, those you know. are games I play. So. Yeah, those are games more up your alley. I'm surprised they're talking about Next PS5 up, let's see what's because in they store said they were. Now they, they did. Spelunky. So. Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Spelunky. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. Oh my. So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one okay. reason why so we're like co-op? online multiplayer. Yeah, it looks so like it's more co-op. Yeah, they said online multiplayer. And I also wanted to include that feeling of community in Spelunky 2 itself to make sure that the game felt welcome. Now, this is something I difficult. might play. Mm. In Spelunky yes, 2, when you do runs like, and discover new characters, you'll like also be building an in-game community and family. Mm. I designed oh, the look, world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more well, rich and dynamic than my favorite <laughs> one. It's going to feel a lot more full. It's scary looking when they get a little Players will be able look to explore it, look, and interact with it. Look at how cute that little sloth is. Sloths are cute. Baby sloths are very cute. Then they get to turkeys. adults. That's when they start looking. True. They start looking. That's when they start looking a little creepy. And you'll have to choose between branching paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. Someone said this as is why result, Xbox is better. Look, at least uh, PlayStation is giving us two state of players. Even after <laughs> many, many hours of playing, I still have I'm not having Tetris. To go past the first area. <laughs> in Spelunky 1, runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. Oh, so oh. Spelunky 2, we've expanded yeah, the shopping. Yeah, he's, 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 he's going to get out. Oh, sure. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Mm. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest. This looks like he'll make you rage very fast. But I think oh, the great thing about Spelunky is like getting like over it. Oh, are the oh ones no, that's what I don't know this. about. Oh. And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players can use to push past the boundaries of what we, as the developers, know about the game. I have said, what two are the types new games? of favorite These are like existing, like updated. First are when people games. are genuinely games that are coming out, that indie games. In yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, some PS4 new things games. Coming. The ones where people shared a fun it started off with a fr- crash, which, which is very like, strong. Looks, looks very strong. Yeah, very strong. And it looks very good. So I might. I might play that. They're really what guided my design choice. There's like a color mode that was After great. releasing Spelunky, I knew yeah, there was new. a lot more that could be yeah, the concept in the world. Uh, and knowing that possibility Mario. was out yeah. there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky Mice. 2 comes Big out, Mice. I want players yeah, to said experience I tired. what we experienced tired makes it. <laughs> yeah, we just woke up that not too long ago for this There's something special there stream. waiting for you to discover it. A big thanks to the fans who've waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. It's been a long journey, Jeez, but I think so it's going to be worth it. Like, I'll, 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 I'll rave so hard, yes. bro. Like, look That's at what that. I'm saying. Like, I'm like, I, it looks like every look. turn you could die. Look, look. Even in their gameplay, look. Just dead. Uh, I think that's the purpose. I think you're supposed to get mad. Yeah. We've got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you, starting with Genshin a closer Impact. look at Genshin Impact. I said I yawn and it's boring. Like, I'm yawn because I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we, you saw the red in That's our why eyes. I'm tired. There's something strange <laughs> over here. Come on, let's take a look. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Looking like a wife who works there. Somebody got a, uh, got an anime pillow of that thing right now. 
Oh. This is like something you might play. I got my interest now. Hold yeah. On. Hold on. This is like something that you might play. I'm about to be an anime protagonist. I have to have my hair. Mm -hmm. I have to. It's <laughs> only right if I have a hair. Oh, I like I like her little outfit right there. It's cute. Lady found too tiny. Oh. 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 Speak my name. Oh, is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. They about to capture themselves with a piece. Get away. This look fire. This look like some heat. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll play this one. Genshin Impact. I'll play this one. I'll play this one. Mm. It says coming to PS4 Worldwide. When? I think it just said it, but it went so fast I couldn't catch oh. the day. Dang it, Jazzy. You looking at it too? I looked at mean? the chat. I looked at the chat. <laughs> Oh? Is this a is this a fighting game? It's like it. This of yours. What a waste of stardust. Man, he just looks like he just oh. Oh. Okay, this is like they're just throwing epicness at yeah, you. Yeah, it looks like they're just throwing everything at you. Looks lit, though. Dang. Okay, this probably, you know what this reminds me of? What? Probably a Samurai Jack a little bit. Really? Like, like yeah, as far as like, but way more savage. Okay, die. 2021. Mm, that doesn't that doesn't look bad at all. I'm. It looks like a fighting game, but I'm not sure if it's like open world or not. Cause I saw them on a vehicle, so I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> what the heck is Yo I love how these things gonna be given no words, no context to talk as to what you're looking at you right. right. so. captured from PS5. My uh, invitation is open. Doing a Come join me on the island. Maybe that would be pretty cool. Bruh. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist. Don't tell me you actually believe this to be like the James Jameson of I swear, if you yeah, check this know. Bucks next story, mm -hmm. you're out of a job. You're the journalist. Esbert said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Oh yeah, this was that. Oh yeah, that was yeah. I think yeah. that was in the. Yeah. He said a little kids game. I'm not help. gonna play. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. We'll, we'll use it to lead the bunger over yonder. <laughs> look, look, catch the bird. Use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is, and feed it to me, Obs. 
How about Luke Sprout doing? He miss his papa. Oh, of course he does. Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. You're pretty oh. good at stuff, and nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. <laughs> okay. I'm going to laugh at you. Well. No, it's, it's Say you no, do it's find okay. these bug snacks and make them back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff. Is that a flying pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Is that flying yes. Pizza? You are right. <laughs> with, with, oh as a child says, are hurricanes da dangerous or no? I'm pretty sure they're yeah. very dangerous. <laughs> Y'all already know I'm not store. playing that Let's game. Start PlayStation VR. Oh, oh, PlayStation VR game. Vader Immortal. Hold on. Okay, y'all caught my attention. Y'all caught my attention. Step aside your own Star Wars. Mm. VR though. Uh, yeah. You must stop Vader. I don't understand no. why you never mentioned that you had the force. <laughs> Master the lightsaber dojo. Uh huh. That was cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks cool. We gotta try that. Mm -hmm. We gotta try that mm -hmm. one. Gotta try that gotta one. Try the that last one. Star Wars game. Yeah, y'all know, really know that one looked lit. Y'all know. Whatever you do, stay in the light. Mm. Oh, wait, that's the name of the, that's the, name of the company. Okay, I was like... <laughs> Oh, is this, is this Control? Did you play that game? No, this is not Control. Oh, no. Yes, it is Control. Oh, it's a DLC. I'm gonna download that. I was supposed to play this game. You were supposed to. I forgot why you, why. That I forgot to yeah, play it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Not saying that it, you know, I didn't want to. It was just a lot. Okay, expansion. so there's an expansion, August 27th. Not that far. Mm -hmm. Not that. Not that uh, far from where we at right now. It is a few weeks. It says Star Wars fans, stand up. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. oh, this is, oh, this is how you can teach me chess. Huh? Like another way you could choose me chess. Hmm. I don't know how to. I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> this honestly looks like a more complicated strategy game. This looks oh, like a mobile game. Oh, like. it, it does. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, hurry up. This is mobile. This kind of looks like a mobile game. So these games are so. Well, these are like more like you know indie games mostly, and then. They're showing like some updates to games that are already out. That game I'm just not playing. Oh, oh that oh that was chess. Oh, <laughs> that was chess. Oh Jesus. Yes, Jasmine. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> Seeing this mobile game. Come on. What is this? <laughs> Bathroom simulator. <laughs> Okay, oh. Okay, so this one is like you're playing as a, as a stick person going through the drawings and trying to find your way out. It's more like a puzzle game. trying to figure out where the drawing is going. Hmm. Pe 
Pedestrian coming to PS4 January 2021. Now, I wonder if people are actually going to play these games, like, in the now next... let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. Oh, oh, okay. So now they have PS5 Ghosts games. Shadows. Ghosts running silently between the straight, cold... Ghosts of Tennessee, I'm just... I thought they weren't going to say anything about PS5 games, but okay. They count, ration, manipulate. Hmm. Said we need action. Come on. Yeah, I know. A lot of the indie games are like kind of peaceful, like puzzle games. You know, like we like the action. As far as I know, I know I like action games. Mm. Mm. defenses and strike the heart. Uh-huh, I'm interested. Oh. Dang. That dude was getting beat up. <laughs> Get him. Get him. There you go. This is what I need to see. This is what I need to see, y'all. Get some down. action. Sheesh. Others, we are rivals. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. See now, this looks fun. We are all hood outlaws and legends. And see, y'all were saying Assassin's Creed in the chat, and I knew that that was wrong. So. <laughs> in the hood. Legends. Welcome to the hood. And that's coming 2021 for the PS5. Now, that that one looks fun. Okay, that one looks fun to me. Y'all said the hood. <laughs> the hood. Say, is this Assassin's Creed meets Dark Souls? Pretty much. That's what it seems like. But you got like a team with you. And then here goes. What type of game is this? Collect creatures. Oh, oh, so this is like this is like Pokemon. <laughs> this is this is like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. The Pokemon yeah. game that you're looking for. That's what it is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Look, look, I think look. I've seen this before. Look. I think I, I forgot what the name of this is. I think I've seen it before. Look, it's like Pokemon without being Pokemon. It's, it's sustaining you until Pokemon releases something else. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely. See, look. That is. Tem Tem, that's that, it, that's okay, it. So we heard that we've seen that before. before. Yeah. You see that, that is that's a, definitely like a Pokemon, for sure. Yes. 100%. Yeah. For this melee Godfall. Epic I... launching this holiday. Hmm. Well, that one does look like Dark Souls. This looks like something to Godfall, play. Godfall, yeah. Right up my definitely. alley. Definitely. Right up my alley. Yup, Godfall, yeah. yup. You like those, like, slasher games. Mm-hmm. Hello. My name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. I was, I'm getting today a you'll be lot of extensive of gameplay of captured on the PlayStation game. 5 development. Well, this is how it looks. Please keep in mind yeah. that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change hmm. from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power okay, so of Sony's next-generation Okay, this is a work in progress. This console. is not the final Please mm -hmm. enjoy. product. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat, mm -hmm. and robust loot progression systems. You can enjoy the game at your own pace, playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Okay. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up him, into the elemental oh, realms oh, of stealth. earth, okay. mm -hmm. His back was turned. water, it's like, when are gonna hit each other? air, <laughs> and fire. Godfall is a complete package. 
all loot and gear in the game mm. are acquired mm. or unlocked mm. through gameplay. There are no microtransactions. No waiting for content. Mm. It's all there you in go. The game no microtransactions. Can we get rid of those? As you adventure, like, in you'll the get future? to through enemies yes. to challenge a mad I don't think anybody likes who them. awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Mm. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. Yeah, let's see it. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create mm. what we think is a looter slasher. Hmm. Our game is therefore one part gear driven and one part player skill driven. <laughs> In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. Honestly, From a like combat the philosophy subversion, like where you, like, you get better stuff, Godfall like if you find it, to be or like if you level up and more, like and skill based, instead of you just getting it from a loot More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Hmm. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there are five weapon classes. The longsword. Okay. Longsword. The dual oh, blades. Me. That's what you want. Me. <laughs> the polearm. No. Mm -mm. The two-handed warhammer. There we go. Maybe. And the two-handed greatsword. I want that hammer. Each Bye. weapon class has their own unique movesets and play styles, ranging from fast combos to more strategic You know what, that kind of just reminded me of Dauntless again. Mm -hmm. Because they have those different adventures, like, weapon styles. You will acquire styles. numerous mm -hmm. weapons. Ooh, For each right weapon there, category, really shield, each weapon oh, dude, with their own blade, primary mm -hmm. set. That's dual blade. <laughs> oh, dual blade you know me! Nice. You know me! You delve into the mm -hmm. weapon classes and how to modify them in greater detail. For now, Jeez. we'll go over the dual blades, and the long sword weapon class. Because the dual blade looks the coolest, so of course y'all talk about that one. The dual blade in Godfall. Mm -hmm. Embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. Mm. You can you said they should just show the next game. Y'all like, like this one? I like it. Y'all like this like one? Blades. I like this one. Heavy attack is a spinning blade cyclone. And it's the, where's the action on board? At least they fight and stuff. As a finisher, <laughs> in the other the games, they weren't even fighting combo. anything. They were just trying to get to the next drawing. So what drawing. are the signature moves for the dual blades? As you build up charge, you can also activate inner focus, which is unique to the dual yeah, blades, said, which inflicts what? massive damage oh. in a short period of time. I like it. I'm just trying to see what y'all think about these you games. you can your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you, like pulling a cable. So they kind of like Kratos. Yes, they God of War gods. <laughs> now let's switch to the longsword weapon class. Longsword style. Longswords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades, longswords have their own four hit light attack combo. Then there's the mm -hmm. heavy attack finisher, which can be used at the end of your light attack combo. There are three signature moves for the Longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. Notice there's a white flash after a Longsword swing called a Timing Attack. If you press the Shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating Shield Uppercut with your Longsword. <laughs> The shield I'm is just a core at the chat, part of Godfall. Are hilarious. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. I would Press hope the so. shield button I mean. at the right time. You can also parry an attack. Okay. You can mm -hmm. perform a light attack after I a like last second a shield block a to counter attack with a powerful shield strike. The shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. 
You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. Oh, I'm Captain America. 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 They said just say and this of course, is God of War 2. You can perform an R3 uh. ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. Pretty good. So what is this? That was a boss fight? Yeah, we're about to fight Reinhardt. Is that Reinhardt? <laughs> Random rock. From, uh, that's Overwatch. Reinhardt from Overwatch. Hell yeah, yeah we're right. Down. right. <laughs> He about to uh. He about to use his ult. <laughs> this is Reinhardt. Look, he's about to uh dash into you. <laughs> Definitely about to pin you. Look, hammer down again. Look, look at this. Everybody's saying next game. I, I do believe they've been sitting on this game for a while, though. Like, explaining it and everything. I like it. Yeah, as I'm far good. as, like, they've been moving with the other games super fast. This one, they've been sitting on it yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, I saw those really good. That was fun as hell. I played it. Definitely playing Godfall. They didn't even sit on Crash Bandicoot as long as they sat on this game. You're right. You're right. Like, I, I kind of I kind of agree. They could move on to another one now. I got the gist of it already. Probably the last game, that's why. We hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the <coughs> PlayStation 5. Yes, let's go next. We also want to thank all the fans for their endless support since our initial reveal back in December. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. I'm, I'm playing Godfall. I'm, I'm, you I'm, I'm playing it. I like the dual blade. I like, you know, I like games like this. It's mm -hmm. like God of War. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I love God of War. God of War is fun as heck. Right. True. Is there nothing else? That's a wrap. Oh, that, that's yeah. it. Let us peek into okay. the future of places. That's why they took so long. See you on next that. time. Yeah. There's nothing else. That's it. Well, they said about, right. that was about 40 minutes. Play has no limits. If y'all say so. But my wallet does. <laughs> I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna say yeah. that. So well, that that's good. it, y'all. Um. Mm. Thoughts. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this state of play? It was okay. It was okay. Not bad. Yeah. It was okay. It wasn't nothing. What do you rate it? Like out of ten. Six. I give a solid. I saw a seven. You are generous. No, ooh, you gave it less than that. Okay, they had some. They had some okay, Crash Six. definitely doesn't deserve anything less than a seven. Okay. No, well, Crash is okay. the one I'm interested in. Okay, Crash, Vader, Immortal, Hitman. Mm -hmm. I like Godfall, and then I know I missed a couple of them while I was gone. I know I missed a he couple miss while I was much. gone. I missed much. No. <laughs> um. One of them was like a stick man, like going through like uh drawings, like and I it's like a, it's like a puzzle. Simulator. Yeah. I so mean, this was, they told y'all, they look, they told y'all, listen. If they said it was going to be no big announcement. It's, it's nothing crazy. But, uh. I, I, but for what it was, I was happy for what it was. Basically, they were saying that, yeah, we're not going to give y'all much of the, I was even surprised they talked about the PS5. I thought it was going to be nothing about PS5. So. Yeah, because they did say that this one was going to have, like, no announcements for PS5. So I thought that it was going to be all, like, PS4 games, and then they were showing, like, PS5 games. Yeah, no so. announcements about it, like. About like the price or when you can pre-order, but yeah, it's like yeah, we give you a couple PS5 games that we're working on. I did hear a rumor though. Heard a rumor. Heard a rumor that the the announcement for the price will be this month in August. Oh god, that's just a rumor. That's a rumor though, so I'm not gonna fully believe it until I see that it happens. So I didn't think they was gonna say it in this one, and they didn't. Yeah. But um, a lot of the indie games, I'm not gonna lie, kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie, hmm. some of them. I mean, not some every game. Did. Not every game is for everyone. I know. To me, they look kind of boring. They could not be fun game. to somebody else, but yeah. for me, the only one I'm really like, I want to do the Hitman VR, Genshin Impact, the Vader, hmm. uh, 
VR, which is already here, but like, still gotta play that. Crash, the Genshin Impact, that look cool. I'm definitely gonna try Temtem. I got Temtem looks like another I gotta play, I gotta version play. of Pokemon, so maybe that. That's the game I'm looking for. And then, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And then that last game, you like Godfall. God, Godfall looks good, I like, I like it. But <laughs> other than that, that's it, really. So yeah. I don't know. I just realized that the <laughs> that was still on. Yeah. <laughs> playing in the background. I just realized that was still playing. But yeah, well, it, was, it was okay. I'm ready for what we got. I know they probably gonna do more. We got how many more months we got left this year? We got what? It don't even feel like four, this year is gonna end. Like it four, just feels four, like we're just going months. through the days. Right. Oh, four right. more months. So we gonna have some August, stuff in the future. Yeah. So yeah, the year is almost over. A few more months until we get uh, the new console, so yeah. let's see how that goes. No Spider-Man, guys. Sorry. <laughs> no yeah. Miles. No Miles. Sorry. Yeah, no price. No, no pre-order. No, mm -mm. none of that. None of that. No information about pre-orders or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But they did say they're going to tell us when the pre-orders are going to drop. Yeah. When you could buy, well, when you could pre-order it. Yeah. Because uh, we're we definitely getting it. We will be waiting. Yeah. We will be waiting. But anyway. So... That's been real, guys. We mm -hmm. are out.